Hello everyone and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do networking in C or in C++ and today I will be teaching you how to do client side programming and this is part B of my networking video so before we begin I also want to mention a thing that I'm going to be hiding three different words in this entire video and you have to find them and make sure you comment them with the timestamp so I will be featuring that comment in my next video so to start with we need to go ahead and tools and um, compiler options and in our part a we added this three linkers I will paste them in the description make sure you add them too because we need it for this video so I'm gonna hit ok and you also need to hit ok after you add them so let's begin now this is our client cpp file and this is our server file which you can see and also so I forgot to zoom in my previous video so I'm gonna do that pretty quickly this much is okay so first thing we need is we need to include some header file so let's include ws to tcp ip dot h and we'll include the same header files as we did in over here except this one so i might as well copy them from here and just paste them just to copy and paste now after that we'll define the same things port and the buffer length so we'll also copy that Control c Control v and after that or before that whatever you feel comfortable with you can type using namespace std and now we can start our main method so let's type in int main and then type a get ch at end now we can start by creating variables like we did last time so wsa data and we will name it wsa d and after that we will create socket variable so type socket and we will only need one socket for client side because we are not listening in client side so we just need to connect so i will name it as cs for connect socket Socket and I'll set it to invalid socket and then we will create our struct addr info so type struct addr info and then pointer result and we will set it to null and then pointer ptr will set it to null as well and then our hint so after that we will create our string variables the so type string send buff or you can just name it as buff because we will use it for both receiving and sending so we will set it equal to our string which we want to send you can change this later but i'm just initializing it now so let's have hello youtube and then we will create our character array which we will use for receiving so i am naming it as receive buff and um, its size will be buff length and we will now create our integer variable so int ir and um, yeah that's it that's all we need we don't need like send and receive down or yeah. that's that's the all variables we need and we will add if we need some more so let's start by starting up our Winsaw. so ir equals wsa startup and we will use our make word two comma two and then and wsad and now we will check for errors if ir is not equal to zero then that means we have encountered some error so we'll see out error end line and we will return one you can even retry it if you want but for demonstration i'm just gonna turn one and then we will clear memory for our hints variable so type zero memory and in that we need to pass in our hints so and hint, and then we will pass in the size of hints and, and then we will initialize hints so hints dot ai family equals ai underscore unsec then hints dot ai socket type which is sock type and we'll set it equal to sock stream and after that hints dot ai protocol you can use udp over here but we have used tcp in server and also this is tcp tutorial so i'm just gonna use tcp so type ip proto 
underscore tcp and after that we will get our address info so type i r equals get a d d r info and this is our ip we can use 127.0.0.1 or you can also use local host in over here so this in our next parameter we will give the port number so you just have to give it a port and uh, this port comes from this definition which we have done so what you can see uh, the port is 27015 then comma and hints comma and result now after that we will check for error so we will just copy this control c and control v and paste it over there so it will print error and we will also print our ir variable so just type ir and enter and we should print it over there too i'm just gonna drag it and drop it yeah and over here we will clean up the wsa so wsa clean up and um, after that we will try to connect so type r p t r equals result colon p t r not equals null and p t r equals p t r and uh, let's give a pointing sign oops ai underscore next and now we'll set our connect socket which is cs equal to socket and we'll pass in first parameter as er and uh, our pointer sign and um, we'll just go down to ai family and we'll press enter then comma ptr pointer symbol and our sock type so we'll just go down to it and hit enter and um, our protocol so ptr pointer sign go down and protocol semicolon hit enter then we'll check for errors if cs equal equals invalid underscore socket then we'll just go ahead and scream at user face that it's invalid and we'll give out some errors so see out error space wsa get last error and after that we'll just end the line and we will clean up wsa so wsa clean up semicolon hit enter and we will return one after that we will try to connect if the socket is perfect by perfect i mean is not invalid so type ir equals connect and then we will give socket cs then p e r pointer a i underscore a d d r and uh, int in a bracket which means we are giving an exit and ptr pointer a d d r length again we will check for some errors so if i r equal equal socket error then we just close the socket so type close socket and give it the cs socket and we will set the cs to invalid socket and then we will continue and if everything has succeeded then we will break our for loop so break now we can free our result variable so type free a d d r a d d r info and give it the result so after that we are not ensuring that um, we are connected till we exit the loop and check if the socket is invalid so if it's not invalid then that means it's connected or if it's invalid socket we initialize it over here so type if cs equal equals invalid socket then we see out unable to connect and we will give it our end line and we will clean up and also we will return one so when we know that we are connected we can do our sending thing so as you may remember if you watched my video about server we are just reversing the string and sending it back and uh, we'll be using uh, blocking send so it doesn't have a timeout so i r equals send and pass in the socket as cs and we'll get our string from the top and we'll convert it to constant char and we'll pass in the parameter over here so buff dot c underscore str 
comma int in bracket so excellent int str len buff dot c underscore str and we will pass in the flag zero so now we can check for error so fir equals socket underscore error then we scream at user's face so i'm just gonna copy it from over here control c and paste it with control v remove the indent and also we need to close the socket so close socket cs and semicolon and i think we have not included this guy's header file so we may get a error if it's not present in our stream so after this if we successfully send a message we will be arriving over here and at this point we will receive incoming data so tab 0 memory and receive buff comma size of receive buff and a semicolon then we will receive our message so type ir equals receive and cs and then we will give our buff variable so receive buff variable then we will give our length so there was buff length then flags will be zero now we check for the received bytes so r will be received bytes if i r is bigger than zero then that means we have received something which is not zero so we'll see out the bytes or the rescued bytes with rescued bytes and then we'll print ir end line after that we will print our received message so let's print cr rescue buff and l and uh, over here on top where we send we will also print what we send so let's print it before we send it so see out buff end line what is the key doing there yeah now if the result is zero in blocking receive function then that means the server has dropped the client so we will type else f i r equals to zero then we see out that connection has been closed so cc connection closed and uh, of course new line yeah that's it or if it's zero and else if anything different happens than what we are expecting we will see out an error but this time with our error code so field with dash i was thinking of field with negative marks but that didn't make it in so w s a get lost i mean get last error and the end line so now after that we will yeah that's a lot of space now after that um we will close the connection and we'll return zero but um, over here i told you about this shutdown method which you can use so if you want to use that you can use it i thought i will show it in this video too but yeah i'm just gonna end the connection and then we can move on to testing yeah and other thing is i misspelled get ch i hope you didn't see it Bye. so we'll close socket cs and then we'll use our free space wsa cleanup and c is capital over there then we will return zero but after the get cs so we don't need that extra space i just removed it yeah and now we don't have any space well and that's the return zero now let's compile this and i think i will be getting an error over here so compile under wow i missed semicolon here and uh, i think we have this method yeah and yeah, that's what i was expecting because we don't have server started up so let's start the server we'll just press run and this is our server why in the world you go back and then we will again press run in our client file so you can see that was fast and the this is our server so you can see rescued by 15 both are saying 15 and this is saying hello youtube was sent this is saying hello youtube was received and it's saying that this was sent back and this is saying this was received back which is same that means our program has been successful and now we can close them and over here you can take a look at this program oops that's too small so 
that was it for today's video guys and hope you have enjoyed and if you want to continue watching my videos then make sure you click that video that's showing up and also make sure you click the subscribe button and if you found any of those words that are head into the video then make sure you comment it down because i will feature it in the next video so bye bye